Hey, what's up? This is Joshua Casper. Uh, welcome to another Ableton Live video tutorial. This one's on fixing a broken track. Sometimes when you get a bootleg that you really like, uh, something's happened along the way and uh, there's a glitch in it or it ends weird or you need to fix something. And my friend has a track that he likes and, and he really likes to use it. And he has, at the end here, it gets tripped up. And let me show you what I mean. Um, right around here, we're on 125. So you hear how it, it gets tripped up right here? Um, that throws off everything. If you're in the mix right here and that happens, uh, you're going to train wreck. Whether you're using Ableton or it's on a CD or whatever. Um, so you need to fix that if you really want to use this, this track. So I'm going to show you a nice way to make it work. Uh, to fix it. And that's what Ableton Live is for, is, uh, you know, just that. So the first thing you got to do is find where it's broken, and I already have done that for us, and it's at 125 right here. It gets broken, and you can see that these base hits are no longer on time. So the first thing I would do is I would come in, and I would select it, and I'd make a new track, and I'd select where it happens, I'd drag it down, and then I'd expand delete this, and I'd extend it to where it ends, and the next thing I would do is come in and find where it, the first, this is where it's glitched, and this is where it comes back in regular, so I'm going to come into this first base hit here, sorry, and double click, set one one here, and what that's done is now it's warped from here to the end for me, and you can see it's pretty close, so I'll come in here and just tidy it up, Bring that over, and now we're good to go. The next thing to do is figure out how much is glitched, because you need to re replace that part in order to keep the time. Um, and usually you could just drag it so it lines up with you know where it's supposed to end, but this track ends weird, so we can't do that, so we just kind of have to feel it. So what we have is we're just missing a one drop or a one count. So what I'm going to do is bring it over and now I have to fill in this gap. So what I need to do now is listen here and see what kind of noises there are and then find a part that will fit right here. So let's listen. So cool, it's a fairly simple part. There are no risers or fallers or anything like that. So let's try to see if we can find something to fill that in. This part would work. Let me see about this part. That part won't work because you can hear how it has that descender right there and that would just sound out of place if we dropped it here. So what we're going to do is just take um, this part. You take it, hold down the alt so it copies it and now let's listen here. And boom, that's good to go. No one's going to notice that when you're in the mix. Um, the next thing I want to do is sh bring it down here and show you that it doesn't end right. It doesn't end uh, the way it should. So what I'm going to do is just duplicate this four bars right here. Select it all and con control D to duplicate. And now it ends on time. And now, as you can see, I've added a riser and a crash here. So that's fun, but I think that's a little too abrupt. So what I'm going to do is take this intro part right here, this 8-bar intro, Control-C to, co to copy, and I'm going to come in, and we can even put it on a new track. Um, put my cursor here, Control-V, and now without my riser, we can hear how this kind of makes it fall off here. So that's an abrupt change, but that's why I put this kind of riser just out of a sample pack here to, to uh, make the transition a little more smooth. So as you can hear, that makes it a little nicer. And there's a little bit more we can do here. Um, the next thing I want to do is... And I'm going to make this kind of right out and I'm going to put on the last one drag this out 
find where it is, tighten it up a little bit. So I'll come in here. And it's very important that this next note does not come in because I'm going to put some reverb right here to make it tailor off. So we have that going for us now. The next thing I would do if I really, really like this track and really wanted to use it is I come into my auto filter and I drop it on here. Um, I take my frequency, I put it all the way over, make sure it's highlighted here, and I would drop it down. And then for right here, I would bring it back up. So there we go. Uh, you know, if you were mixing in another track, that would make it sound really nice. Um, but the next thing I want to do is put on some reverb real quick. I'm using the Ambience Free Reverb. Uh, there are links on my blog to go download this. Um, but I'm going to turn the dry up and leave the wet up pretty high. And then I'm just going to come over to the device on. Pull it all the way down. Oops. Control B to get my pen tool. And then let's see how that sounds now. Maybe put a little more on. Bring the dry down a little bit. So there you go. Uh, we went from having a glitched out track that we can't use to kind of our own version uh, of the ending here. Let's see how it sounds all together. See if we can notice it. Or right, you know what I want to do? Is actually bring this over here. Maybe bring this over here too. Why not? You know what I just noticed and I didn't even notice before? This would do a lot better if we did this. And it's a real quick fix actually. If I bring this over, there's a little fill right here. Yes. Okay. So now that I have that, jeez. I'm going to use this part right here. I didn't even notice that before I was making this tutorial, but I notice it now. So let's uh, let's run it. We gotta be careful, yeah, to make sure we haven't used that glitch part again. But um, this should be okay. much better now that's cool I didn't even notice that until right now so you guys got lucky so let's listen now to see how it sounds we got the fills where they're supposed to be let's see this put some reverb or ping pong delay on these crashes on the new channel if you want just to make it more uh, eloquent I guess but I'm not going to do any more uh, this is enough for me um, I'm going to go ahead and um, 
put this file online so you guys can go ahead and download it and uh, follow along. I hope uh, Rick Wonder doesn't mind. I'm sure he doesn't for the free publicity. So go check out Wh uh, Rick Wonder's bootlegs. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy this. We'll see you next time.